right, I got the steering box apart. The, uh, the order is you take the side cover off first, and that pulls out the, like, what attaches to the pitman arm. So we're looking at the side cover here. It had quite a bit of oil left in it. For as much as it leaked, uh, it was still pretty full. Uh, so make sure when you take that side cover off, you have a pan to catch it in because that stuff will just come out like crazy. And it has like a metallic sheen to it, so I'm going to assume that's wear from the bearings. Um, over here I've got the, the gear soaking. So that's what the pitman arm goes on, and as you steer the wheel, it moves it back and forth. Got to clean that up and get a look at it. It looks pretty good, though. You know, no stripped, nothing stripped on there. I think there's a bushing in there or something. So I'm gonna let that sit a while. Get that cleaned up. And then over here, there's the steering worm gear and the bearings, steering shaft, and then that's a steering housing. That came off pretty easily. That surprised me that this um the inside shaft popped out pretty good, pretty easily. Um so yeah, I've got the rebuild kit. It's got, so it's got these bearings, both sides to replace. It's got the bushings. Yeah, there's the bearings. It's got a race in there of some kind, I think. I think that is for that race in there. If you look down in there, you can kind of see there's a bronze bushing right in there. I gotta press that out. And I'm gonna assume that gear that's in the soaking in the parts washer has uh, bushings as well, because they gave me three, three bushings total, a seal. So on the opposite side of that bushing that on the outside is uh, like a regular old oil seal. And a couple gaskets. There's a gasket that goes here, and there's a gasket that goes on the side. Um, and the the ball bearings so the ball bearings right inside that housing you got to take off these retainers there's a it's like grease in here i don't know why if it's supposed to have grease or gear oil or what you got to read the book and see what they say i'm not sure what that's about anywho you take these three off three screws off and then these channels lift out, and there's the ball bearings in there, and I guess you're supposed to dump them all out and uh, clean the worm gear, clean the channels. I think these uh, these come in half. These uh, these tubes they like break in half, not break in half, but they they're halves, and you're supposed to load them up with the the new bearings. Put the two sides together and they recommend putting some uh, Vaseline or something in there to hold them in place. Um, and then another point is, uh, so this bearing is held on, there's like a little rivet on the bottom and like a cup or something. I think that's just there for assembly. They tell you to rip it off, like grab it with a, a plier and just pop it off. I think it's held there as part of like the assembly process. But I'll read through it again and I'll post some more info as I go. Thank you.